Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get your reverse lockout to work on your car if you don't have an RSX Type S ECU to do it. Welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get school, 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 school. VTech Academy is on to performance. Okay, so we have our six speed converted uh, CRV, and it has essentially a TSX gearbox in there, but the shifter is like out of an RSX Type S. So there's a little solenoid that keeps you from hitting reverse when you're jacking around there with fifth and sixth gear. And one of the things that has to happen is you need to be able to engage that so when you're driving, you don't accidentally, when you're going for sixth gear, jump it down into reverse. Actually, you'd be going for fifth gear, jump it down in reverse. So uh, it just makes a lot of noise. You're not gonna actually get it in there, but it's still unnerving to be driving on the street and having going grr, 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 as you're trying to shift it in there. <laughs> so particularly when you're driving aggressively. Uh, so. On an RSX Type S ECU, there is an output on the ECU that as soon as you get to a certain speed, it basically locks it out. And the way it does that is that there's a solenoid that gets powered up. So let me show you what we did in order to get ours to work. Now, we have an EP3 uh, computer in here, and that didn't have six gears. That only had five speed, so it was lacking. So I'm gonna show you how we got that to work on this car. When I modified the CRV in engine harness, I added a reverse lockout. Now, basically what I did was I took the intake manifold runner control solenoid valve and I shortened that wiring to be our reverse lockout. Now, that wire comes back to B22 on the ECU, but there's nothing there on the EP3 ECU. So what I did was I disconnected that wire and I brought it over here. So that wire comes in right here onto the switch and then out the other side is a wire to ground. Now this is called a momentary off switch. So what happens is there's continuity unless I push this button. So right now there's no power on, so you can easily shift the car, not so easily. Oh, there we go. You can easily shift the car over in the reverse. I can get all the way over there. But once I power the car up, there's power to that wire. I can't go over there over to the reverse anymore. So what I've done is I've set up this switch so when you press the button, it's deactivated. I can go all the way over and get down into reverse gear. So again, when it's not on, I can't get over to that extra side. When I push the button, I can go all the way over. So that's how it works. If you look in here, you can see the, see the key, key light flashing on the left. That's because this ECU does not match this car. So that's why it's doing that. So anytime you put, anytime you put a, a different ECU into a car that has an immobilizer, if the immobilizer is not keyed properly, that's what it does. Now, of course, on K-swap ECUs, the immobilizer is disabled. So that's why that flashes. Now, we are putting in the CRV ECU this time, and the CRV ECU actually has the intake manifold runner control solenoid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repurpose that for our reverse lockout. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna go back in and repair the wiring we did when we added this momentary switch. And he's gonna plug the wire that should go to B22 back into B22. So Scott, go ahead and do that. And then we will stick in our new ECU and see if we can't program it to work like a reverse lockout solenoid. Follow me. And when we did this last, the pin got left on and we actually just pinned into it with another pin and put some shrink on it. So I got this C101 out of my way. And actually we're changing ECUs. So this goes on the B plug, which is our white plug right there. It goes on B22, which was the third at least fortunately, we left the pin on and there's nothing in it. So if I can do this without stabbing myself, this wire is going to go into, I believe it's the third one. I don't know which end is up. Wrong way. It also would help if I had glasses. My dad's got glasses. I'm like, nah. Is that the right one? That was a pin we crimped on there and those have a little bit of trouble. One, two, three, I see it on the end, I think. It's a matter of the lock went down, cool. Okay, now that I did that, 
Let me trouble check the book. That's correct? Yes. My memory served me well. Now we have our K-Pro CRV computer. Here's for hoping. Now you can back up and retrace your steps all day long without having to press a button. Voila. Oh, he still has to use the laptop though to tell that to become a reverse lockout switch. Okay. He's got to program that, I believe. Digitally? Digitally. Now we got to find the laptop. All right, so we are gonna program the computer now. This is a brand new Honda uh, K-Pro. Uh, it hasn't been programmed before. What we need to do now is uh, give it a base program so that we can then uh, make the changes we wanna make. So we are gonna start off with RSX base uh, program, uh, even though it's actually a CRV program. Let's actually look, see if CRV, CRV is even a choice. Other vehicles, mm, nope. Well, actually, let's look at the other vehicles, what our choices are. TSX stock calibration. This is a TSX motor, and there's no head or anything on it, so we can just do the stock calibration. Let's, uh, let's look at it and see what, our, see what our choices are. So we've opened up that one, and we're gonna now look in um, our parameters and see if we have the ability to make any changes uh, to the um, to the intake manifold runner control solenoid. Wow, we have choices on different uh, things, speed inputs and outputs. Okay, I'm not seeing anything for the intake manifold. All right, let's try a different uh, base program. If you're using an ECU that has the intake manifold runner control solenoid, and you just simply leave your reverse hooked up to that, then it will work like OE. All you have to do is put in um, a uh, program for Type S. Uh, and I found a Type S uh, program, basically uh, that was a stock K24 TSX engine. So that's what we went ahead and are gonna load in this computer. And then it should work just without making any other changes other than having it plugged in. So we will see here in a moment. Oh. I need to get online so I can register this computer. The program is uploaded. Let's see if it fires up and everything runs. And then we'll take it for a test drive. Oh, I'm going to have to turn off the immobilizer. Oh, that time it turned off. Let's see what happens. That's funny. I had to turn it off, turn it on for the key to register. The, it's no longer flashing. Yeah, because this ECU is actually from this car, the mobilizer is working. Because I, oh, that's cool. yeah, so it's all good. Although maintenance is required. Reverse. I got reverse, but we're not moving. So let's see what happens if we move. Why are you pushing? Okay, so it's reversing. Reversing is. All right. Now we'll let you go into reverse here. Yep. Oh. Uh-oh. Not working so far. That's not good. It works. It works? It works. It just, we were going too slow, obviously, before. But now, so if I try to go in reverse, see how we didn't slam into the windshield? It did not go in reverse. Sweet, it works. It works. So there you go. Honda makes it so that if you put a Type S uh, program into your base ECU, any ECU that has the intake manifold runner control solenoid, if you just hook that up to reverse, it works as though it was a reverse lockout. So, awesome, very good. We are now good to go, and uh, we can button all this up, although that'll probably take another month. 
So there are other choices too to get your reverse uh, lockout to work. If you have a 0506 RSX uh, and you're using a K tuner, uh, they also have the ability to activate uh, the intake manifold runner as a reverse lockout. If you're using an Accord ECU, like 05 Accord ECU with a K tuner, there's also uh, things you can do with that ECU to also run the reverse lockout. So uh, just about any way you want to do it, you should be able to do something with a stock ECU with the exception of the EP3 ECU. There's nothing on that ECU that allows you to do this. If you have an EP3 ECU, you're going to have to wire in a reverse uh, momentary switch so that you can disconnect the reverse lockout. By the way, that's what I do when we do our J swaps because a lot of our J swap ECUs are originally automatics. They do not have the reverse lockout, so we just wire in a momentary switch. It works perfectly fine. Anyway, you guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we will be doing uh, some other cars with uh, the uh, K tuner, and I'll show you how to do those when we do. Uh, so we, I'll show you them in a minute. Wait, what? I'm hungry. So, <laughs> I haven't eaten in days. We are going to be doing some more videos on things very similar to this. We're going to be using a K tuner in one of our upcoming budget builds, and I'll show you how to wire up the reverse lockout in that as well. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for joining us. Please like and subscribe. We're going to bring you more videos like this. This is all about tech here at VTech Academy. We'll see you next time.